Good morning. So, today we're feeling it, it is going to be some of fun. I'm going to be very, very brief. I promise. We'll get out of here and Super Bowl Sunday. So, my name is Alan. I'm still the Cup Scout Manager of Act 1 3. My wife, who is still the brains and the, uh, the beauty behind it, is uh, we're, taking, we're learning more and more each time about each of the Scouts uh, and is being introduced to our pack. Uh, right now, we're very proud of the pack. The pack has grown over 40 kids uh, from 6 during COVID. And there are 20 in the true fall space. So we're growing every year, so we need that support you might and seek. Uh, so I wanted to share a few things I've learned over the past few years are weekly 6 30 p.m. meetings here in the social hall. I know that Henry does not need eye holes in his mask, but he does need help walking for every part of his pants. I've learned that Brendan is taking notes on how to be a leader. Before we did, I will be around forever. I'm not sure what he means by that. I don't take it as a threat, but sometimes I think it's a little, little hard to understand. Um, I've also learned that uh, the joy in catching fish, or especially the first fish, I've also learned that I'm the only one willing to touch the fish after they're caught because they're slimy for the kids. I've learned that our hour long meeting, 6 30, is also the fastest and slowest hour you've ever experienced in your entire life, especially when we're talking about life taking a hurry up or waiting match. I've learned to see the light in the face. <laughs> of the child I've seen and finally earns that, and then the abject terror of a parent in the exact same prospect of a night will be a child. Most figures are found during the meeting, some are some back on. So we're, we're doing pretty well this evening. Our weekly meetings at 6 30, it's time for learning and teaching both leaders and scouts. We've had Marines come in and share their experiences for Veterans Day. We've had local officials come in and speak about our community and talk to about the chance that they face and the challenge we see as our, as our town grows. We've also spent time hiking local trails. I've also learned that when you give scouts whistles for safety, it is the loudest, longest hike devoid of any nature. Well, I'm still do it. Uh, older children, some of the older scouts, are talking the truth. They do things like sailing the Florida Keys, sleeping on aircraft carriers, which is fun if you're you know, 16. Uh, they do aquatic activities at the beach, and they learn practicing the wilderness and activities to say fires or things, knives. Uh, they also participate in a week long summer camp where the boys can experience an independence and self confidence. Together, the troop and the pack of activities this past year on Halloween Parade. I don't know if you saw that, but there were 40, 40 Pinewood Derby made out of cardboard, and the kids loved it. We also ran a uh, candy for the first block. It was quite, quite impressive. So, our Tuesday night meetings <clears throat> you have more kids between ages 5 17. Please stop by Tuesday night, 6 30 here in the social hall, where we learn about each other. We learn about the and we have a lot of fun. We also fit into any multitude of different things. Not only the scouts competing for their activities or attention, but a lot of our scouts also do basketball and sports, so we learn how to share that time. So if you see us in the back and think you recognize who we are, please stop by for any interest whatsoever. We do meet Tuesdays at 6 30, and I'd like to close by saying thank you to the Holy Name Society here at St. Joseph for the sponsors for the last close 100 years, and we're going to continue for the next three years. Thank you. I'll see you Tuesday night to see.